for these young ladies, just you know, for, for the audience, just describe you know the process from the beginning of the season to how they gel together up to this point. Um, that's a that's a unique thing from the beginning of the season. Uh, we didn't do the summer league this summer, you know, and that's very important to me and dear to my heart. And the summer league for us is very, where, where it gels the younger people together with the older people. And um, my girls chose to do a lot of working and stuff and trying to, you know, get away from basketball, break them or not. And, and you know, I, I called everybody and we talked about it. And they thought it was the best thing to do, you know. And uh, we made a team decision not to have a summer league. In my opinion, it hurt. Um, but we're at the state playoff now, so maybe the break was what we needed sometimes, you know, break the monotony. So, um, and, um, I, but I still think that early workout stuff is very important. Uh, they put a lot of traps on them and, and really uh, hindered the bounce, I mean, the dribble and the passing. Yeah. Uh, what was your keys to overcome that, you know, to be able to get I don't, the girls to stay in? I'm not quite sure we overcame it <laughs> because we had 31 turnovers. Uh, that's a lot of turnovers, especially when you're in the playoffs. When you're just in the regional championship game, you got 31. You know, that's a lot. Um, and normally you don't survive in that. You know what I mean? And I told the girls, maybe my granny used to call it hustling backwards. You do a lot of work, you're putting the work in, but you're not accomplishing much out of it. So um, I'm just real pleased that the girls to keep working hard and keep fighting at it. Um, and um, through some weakness we have, we we overcame some things. So. I'm very proud of that. So let's just say we can't talk about that here. But, you know, it's all, all serious. Kyra is a great student athlete. Her, her determination, her heart is tremendous. And uh, the biggest thing was um, it's, a big, it's a big stage to be on. Um, but Takara is one of those ones that fight and give you everything she's got. And she's competitive. And, and uh, it, it's paying off. The hard work she's put into it is paying off. And that's, that's, so, that's so important. I think the biggest thing we talked about, um, everybody's sent a scholar to our team. Well, scholar had a, a decent night the other night, but the team played around her situation. And Skyler, uh, as you notice, for the, the, the game-winning shot, gave it up to Shayla. Scared me, but she did. And uh, God bless her, she got it back and put it back up. But, um, you know, I think the biggest thing when we gel everybody in the starting five score, the minimum of seven points. So um, we're just glad to be getting to that level because we started out a little, a little rough, a little shaky, and uh, because our timing was all over the place. So right now to know we're playing and gelling together as a unit, it's very important to me. Um, another outstanding young lady, uh, enjoys basketball. Um, her better games yet to come. She's got a lot to give. Her work, work ethic is outstanding. And, uh, you know, and I, I'm just pleased to see everything coming together like it is right now. Um, and, and perfect timing. We haven't peaked yet. And, and that's important. And, and I say this, we haven't played where everybody played a great game yet. And I'm just waiting for it to explode. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully. Um, but um, we haven't exploded where everybody plays that high level together. It's, it's extremely tough. Um, I've got probably four that's had Coliseum experience through AAU basketball or what have you. And um, for that part, I like that and I'm impressed with it. But when I look at the whole picture right now, we'll focus on it. I, and I told them, this is ironic, I told the girls to go home and watch the movie, Hoosers. I said, because that really simplifies our area, how, how small things are. But if you look at the goal, they're still 10 feet tall. Um, you know, the, nothing changed. The out of bounds are still, you know. So I told everybody to go home and YouTube that. They didn't know what I was talking about when I said who's. So I told them to go home and YouTube that movie and watch the movie and get the concept from it. Because it's very important. It's, it, it brings us home to where we are, small rural area um, with kids that can play the game and just got to make the adjustments. Shanti is a super player, smart, sees the court well, um, great shooter, outstanding shooter. But um, you got to force it to shoot the ball sometimes. So, you know, that, that concerns me because I get a green light, and when I give it, I expect to use it. And she's very conservative at you, and, and that says a lot for team effort and understanding. But uh, she's a great leader, smart, uh, determined, and looks the court over very well. So we got some, some things we're working on. Um, to get her to the next level. 
Um, a lot of college interest in us, so that's what's important right now. We want to make sure we have, and I tell the carers from the, look at where you start to where you finish. That's the accomplishment. But a record means absolutely nothing to me. I like hard work and dedication and all that, but look where you start and where you finish and see how much you've grown as athletes. Get Murphy, the Bulldogs. Real deal. What have you, what do you know about that team? Man? Absolutely nothing. I, other than they are competitive. I uh, just met Coach in the uh, conference session, and um, they are going to bring it. And we got to be ready for it, bottom line, and, and vice versa. I think um, they're looking for us to bring it as well. So it's going to be an outstanding game. Um, I just hope it's competitive. Um, I hope we can make adjustments and, you know, play, play the game with what we play.